Hey Aqua, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Aqua placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. Um, and please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? Thank you guys for the love, the support, the donations. Sending you peace, love, happiness, joy, and harmony. Okay, on your journey. So let's tap in Aqua. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work. Any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Let's see what's going on, Aqua. Messages for Aquarius Spirit. What do they need to hear and know at this time? Hmm. Okay. What's going on for Aqua? So we have Gold Digger, a user only liking people for money, primary interest, and material benefits. Mm -hmm. Caught in the act. <clears throat> Someone has been caught doing something they shouldn't. 11th house, that's you, Aquarius. One, social groups, friendships, personal affiliations, and social life. What's the 11th house talking about? Self-love. Loving yourself just the way you are, not dimming yourself to fit other people's perceptions, self-care, inner beauty. I'm getting an energy of like bullying. There could be a group of people that's bullying you because you're really unique. Okay, like you just stand out from the crowd here. I don't, I don't know what somebody, I feel like you're very authentic, free-spirited. Let's see, I feel like you stood strong and, uh, or stood your ground in something. What else? Or you're, that's what you're doing. Yeah, letting go. Somebody here could be hanging out with a bunch of ops here. And it doesn't fit what they want their, their... The people that they hang out with, it doesn't fit what they want things to look like for them. Somebody's fake is what I'm getting, basically. Yeah, letting go. You or someone has let go of the situation, relationships, traits, or habits. I just feel like there's, there could be people calling you like weird or you do something crazy or whatever the fuck this is. But it's because you're just different. People don't really get a chance to get to know you properly because they judge you. Okay, it's just what I'm getting with this. Let's see, though. <laughs> <clears throat> some of you guys are releasing friends family yeah ten of swords let's see for aquas what is this gold digger card The Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Saturn, uh, Sagittarius, Moon here. So I feel like somebody's getting their ass whooped by spare right now because they need to learn some sort of lesson here. This Seven of Pentacles could definitely talk about wealth, a payout. Um... Somebody waiting for something or or somebody waiting for something here. Let, let's see. Seven of Pentacles talks about an investment. It's taking, yeah, five of wands. If somebody is looking at something, they're reviewing it. They're second guessing it or, or questioning it now. Okay, that's Seven of Pentacles to talk about. Let, let's see what it is because I'm getting a lot at one time. Nine of wands. This is like somebody being wounded or beat up or just like very... Something is just ongoing. It's making somebody tired. <clears throat> Let's see. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, queen of swords. That could be you. What's the nine of wands with the queen of swords? I feel like... Okay, justice flipped out in reverse. Yeah, somebody did something that was unjust. 
okay i feel like you set boundaries with someone or you cut them off but you're very discerning i feel like you see through someone or see through some bullshit okay there's there's somebody that refuses to possibly take uh, accountability for something that they did so i feel like you're very guarded and defensive towards this person something was unfair it's unjust it's unjustified whatever somebody did <clears throat> so there's lack of truth and clarity but i feel like you have the truth or you have enough for you to make a decision about moving forward i feel like you're very guarded or defensive towards someone you don't trust them all right Or you keep asking somebody about something with the Queen of Swords, it's like you want to know something. Even though for some of you, yeah, you already know the truth, you have the truth, but it's just the principle of the matter. Like you want to know what the truth is. I feel like somebody is ongoing. It's hard for somebody, it's hard to get somebody to really be honest with you or to communicate with you for some of you. Mm. What's the Seven of Pentacles? This could be something that you've been waiting on. Yeah, the world. What's Seven of Pentacles with the world? The Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Some of you guys could be waiting to get paid online through some sort of service online or you get paid online doing something. You could be you could have an online business where you are creating like wealth, security for yourself. But I feel like you're definitely manifesting your inner power with the Magician. You have some sort of mental clarity about something so i feel like you're just looking to see if something is going to grow or be built or whatever five of swords seven of cups the eight of pentacles there's a new beginning here that you're thinking about you're, you're at a crossroads about it you're trying to see I feel like it's because some sort of injustice was done from you and you learned some sort of lesson from the past. So now you're looking at something to see if it's worth you investing into. Okay, there's some sort of like manipulation here. I feel like it's energetic manipulation. It's all in the fucking readings, child. What's the um magician? What is this? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Okay, I'm going to take it. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. They wanted to flip out. I just flipped it. Okay. So there's, there is some sort of truth and clarity. You have some sort of truth and clarity. So you're back like in your power. You have power here to manifest. You are standing in your truth. Some of you guys are alchemists. You do have magical powers. Okay, you could be a white witch or something. But um, I feel like you're gaining clarity about some sort of energy being sent your way. It's, it's not affecting you here. You've learned how to uh, master whatever this is that's being sent. You've learned how to transmute it and to put it into something else, right? Into creating a legacy, wealth, your craft. This could definitely be money coming in. But there, there's some sort of breakthrough for sure. This could be a breakthrough in your psychic abilities here. Definitely you could be getting access to another ability that you maybe didn't know that was here. Okay, or something like that too, which is really cool. What's uh the the world? Definitely for some of you, somebody's trying to manifest communication from you, or I don't know, I'm not really getting that. I'm just getting that this is more so of a, a sudden or a quick change. What's the world? Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Some sort of illusion being cleared. Yeah, some of you guys, somebody was superficial here. Very superficial, very materialistic. You're closing out a cycle with a person that's like that. They definitely missed the opportunity with you. Or they ass is trapped in some shit. They trapped in it or whatever this is. You've gained clarity though. This is like a wake up call, reality check or something. But that is talking about superficiality, materialism. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? So I'm going to have a Scorpio Venus. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? Yeah, <laughs> Two of Cups in reverse. You're done. Okay, or whatever. Some of y'all are breaking up with somebody or severing ties with them. Partnership, friendship, marriage, whatever it is. I feel like um you're feeling whole and you feel complete within yourself. You're trying to maybe, maybe you're looking at it to see if it was like the right decision to break up or whatever 
I feel like it was. Okay. There could be somebody in your energy. There could be a third party energy here. This person, there's a person here that's breaking up with someone that they chose for superficial reasons or whatever the fuck. They could be trying to come back towards you, but I feel like this whole situation has beat you up. They did something that was unjustified. I feel like it's because they chose this other person or something, or they chose to be superficial, materialistic, or whatever the fuck. They, they chose that. So I feel like now you you're kind of like wounded from the whole thing you just mm. yeah five of pentacles in reverse so you're definitely letting go of a relationship you're letting go of some sort of connection where you and this person are just incompatible y'all not seeing eye to eye right now or whatever but what's um I feel like there's positive movement forward now that you have clarity. What's caught in the act? The sun, yeah. Somebody definitely being exposed. Leo, what's caught in the act with the sun? It's going to be happening Leo season. Yeah, three of wands. It's going to help you feel confident about turning your back. Um, I feel like you have happiness, success, victories coming in for you too. Sag uh, I'm about to call you Sagittarius. Damn, Aquarius. Could be could have Aries in your chart too. You could be dealing with an Aries. Wow, the lovers, the temperance, the empress. Mm, three of cups, the hierophant. There is something beautiful coming in in the near future. So now that you have clarity, I feel like you you're moving on to happier times here. Some of you guys could be moving, traveling, going on vacation. But I feel like you feel this sense of like peace coming through. It is it's going to come in. What's the sun? Because you have clarity. I feel like you're... I'm hearing like the love is not mutual. This fucking King of Cups keep coming out about like... And everybody's reading. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, you're deciding to walk away from possibly a Scorpio. Strong Scorpio. Six of Cups. Judgment. Could be a Pisces. What's the sun with the King of Cups? Who does who King of Cups right here? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is who you're leaving out in the cold. <laughs> Okay, this person, they could have feelings for you, but they obviously they're not acting like it. This person here could be married. I keep guessing every fucking reading, bro. Yeah, the devil and the queen of cups. There's some sort of attachment that you have to this person that's toxic. Okay, I don't know what it is. This could definitely be a past life soulmate. Someone could have a Taurus Mercury. Give me more on the King of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Yeah, they just blocked. This could be your spirit team helping you to block something or stand up for yourself in a situation. Leo Mars here with the the, the Seven of Swords. But yeah, you're, you're blocking whatever this is or whoever this is. This is somebody that makes you feel left out in the cold, abandoned. They abandon you. And I feel like it's because of their own inner issues. They have their own problems. Yeah, King of Swords, Three of Swords. For some of you, this is a spirit guy helping you to block something out and maneuver. Okay, your spirit team is really helping because uh, King of Swords could be another Aquarius here or Libra that put you in a third party or broke your heart. They broke their own fucking heart here. Mm, here the death card. Yeah, boom. Then we have Ace of Cups. <laughs> mm, what's the Three of Wands? The Tower. Yeah, Aries strong. Yeah, you're leaving some sort of chaotic situation behind, but something definitely has gotten revealed. Whatever is at a stalemate, I feel like now is moving forward. Because there's something that's just blocked off. You, you're closing your heart off to this or you're not. It's something that you just don't want to deal with no more. Because it's not for you. It's not in alignment with you. Whatever it is. You could have a decision between two paths. Or somebody's decision making. Whatever they decided to do turned the wheel. It, it really made a big impact on, on y'all's journey or whatever this may be. 
or them choosing to not see the truth of a situation or be in denial has got the wheel turning because they're causing a, a stagnation for you and that's not fair you know what i'm saying so spirit has intervened because it's just not fair for something to be so stagnant and especially if you ain't do shit like if you ain't you know what i'm saying uh-uh what's um 11th house with self-love the hangman pisces yeah what's 11th house with this okay ten of pentacles the devil <laughs> two of pentacles yeah um, I feel like, yeah, you're releasing whatever this is. You're making a sacrifice in order to have this Ten of Pentacles, this this marriage, the stability, this business, the security. I feel like you're really healing a lot of uh, generational karma. Whatever has been passed down through your ancestral bloodline, I feel like it's being healed because all because you're practicing self-love, self-care. Maybe a lot of your family members don't do that. Okay, two, three, four on the clock. All right, and you're going to be the ones, the ones who finally um, heal this generational curse. There could be some sort of successful business here, but you're definitely building a legacy. For some of you, somebody is stuck in a marriage. They stuck over there because there's stability, but they're they're stuck in turn. Like spiritually, they're not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> what's the hang, man? <clears throat> I feel like you've shifted your perspective. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. What's the hang, man, with the Queen of Pentacles? Capricorn, Six of Cups came out in reverse, yeah. Yeah, Scorpio, you've grounded your energy here. You're focusing on what's important. You want something secure, something stable. You could be definitely meeting new people, making new friends here. People that, um, whoever you affiliate yourself with, they're definitely going to be healing or have healed from a lot of, you know, major hurts and setbacks, okay? This Six of Cups in reverse, I feel like you've had some sort of rose-tinted view of the past. You now see something very clear about your past or about a certain inner child wound or a certain person that has inner child healing that they need to do. I feel like you you now see something very clear because that Six of Cups could definitely... It does talk about growing up, maturing. So you're definitely outgrowing somebody. But um, that could talk about you... Something from your past that has been keeping you stagnant. You've been patiently waiting for something that's been keeping you stuck. And I feel like it's some sort of curse on your, your lineage. Somebody was brought to you to this lifetime to help you heal this. Okay, what, what's the Six of Cups in reverse? Let me see. Yeah, some of you guys have, I was getting ready to say, you could have completed rehab or therapy or some sort of counseling. Or you could definitely be a white witch yourself. You're a healer. Your damn self. So you've done a lot of introspection, a lot of soul searching, you know, introspection. A lot of being to yourself, being in hermit mode, doing uh, the work here, deep shadow work, exploring, you know. Somebody definitely completed counseling or they did something. Something is, whatever it is, it's being released or you're realizing that you need to release it. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Somebody here could definitely be a really powerful healer. Could be a doctor or something. Somebody is into holistic medicine is what I'm hearing. Um, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, let's see. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. Something. Yep, Six of Pentacles. Wow. Taurus Moon here. Virgo Mercury. Strong. Somebody could have strong Virgo in their chart. Capricorn. Taurus Virgo Capricorn is what it looked like. Um... Definitely something that you're building upon here. Some of you guys are readers. You could be tarot readers or you're into some sort of divination. You could be a practitioner of some sort or whatever it is that you're working on or building, whatever business this is, is definitely going to be lucrative for your children in the future, for sure. Something, there's an offer, there's good news coming in about a business or this could be a person that's offering you something that's going to actually invest in you. These are better friendships, better relationships coming in. So check your 11th house, see where your 11th house is, what what planet is under what zodiac is under okay i feel like there could be i don't know you have some good money coming through this is like what's this page of pentacles this could be too 
Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, child. Pages, <laughs> pages towards in reverse. Somebody is envious of something that you do. They could be sending you like the evil eye. Somebody here too is like breadcrumbing you. That's what this was. Somebody was breadcrumbing you, giving you the bare minimum. I feel like they would ghost you and be in and out with you. They would get to another situation and give you the last little bit that they got. Like whoever this is, this page of swords in reverse is very manipulative. Some of you guys, there's something that you're needing to educate yourself on or gain knowledge on to build this legacy. Whatever this is that you need to build upon or whatever business this is you're trying to get into, you need to go to school for it because you can have a lack of knowledge somewhere. Okay, page of swords in reverse is like being scatterbrained too. But that's definitely some sort of strategy or plan or whatever the fuck this is that didn't work out. What's this page of swords in reverse spirit? Or some sort of bad news. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this could be like a dysfunction. You could have came from a very dysfunctional family dynamic. There could have been a lot of divorces happening within your family. Like something, there's just like a lack of stability, security. Four of Wands could talk about a lack of support too. Hmm. There is something that you want to build, but you need the right people around. Or this is somebody that you're dealing with that is married or in some sort of family dynamic. They're trying to build something, but they can't. For some of you, the person that's coming in for you, yeah, Ace of, I was just going to say Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess. What's the devil? The King of Pentacles. There could be somebody coming in, um, Aquarius, that wants that have a vision. They want to build this legacy with you, but I feel like they they don't have the stability or the support. They can need you to help them. You have you're very resourceful, so I feel like there's just a need for you to um, you know, don't don't be too yeah, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, okay. Don't get too much in your head. Yeah, the lovers. Because I feel like there's you have some sort of wounding from your past where it's like um you always overextend or you overgive or you never really understood the kind of people that you should be given to, right? I feel like you've healed that wound within you. So that way you'll know by these people's or this person's actions, if there'll be somebody to help out, to help to invest in, and they will invest back into you. You feel me? Like I feel like there's some sort of partnership or there's an opportunity you're needing to jump into, but they don't have the resources or like the, they, they could be kind of like confused. They don't know how to, to, to manifest properly. And you're a very powerful manifester. I feel like you're going to be able to, you and this person are going to be able to build something solid. It's somebody else in your energy. After you release whatever this mess is from the past and release a relationship where they probably even got caught up with a gold digger or whatever, that's another situation that you could be going into something else. As you're releasing whatever that past situation is, that could be that could be kind of triggering. But this person is coming in loyal, dependable, reliable, dedicated. They're a hard worker. That those are the signs or the traits that you need to be looking at within somebody. All right, how they treat you. Like if, if they're down on their last leg or if they don't really have much to give you, would they give it to you anyway? You feel what I'm saying? Like, would they really give back to you? Would they be there on your tough days? Like, I feel like that's what you need to be looking at. Yeah. What's what's the six of pentacles? What's the six of pentacles spirit? Yeah, ace of wands in the beginning. Now this could be a new creative project that this person has a vision for that they need your help to invest in. Okay, you give to them, they give to you. Something's gonna be reciprocal. There's a new beginning that's gonna be very much so reciprocal. Okay, but you and somebody else. There's there's definitely going to be a challenge, though. But they're going to give back to you in, like, little ways. I don't know. I feel like something is being built. Solid. There's something solid being built. And I feel like you've acquired enough wisdom to know what looks phony and what looks real. Okay. Wow. 
the Empress of the Empress, Five of Wands. This could be like, um, <laughs> there, this, there will be something going on in the background. Maybe between you and this person, like y'all both could have some sort of like mess going on. Your past person, they could be fighting with somebody or they fighting, they, they in competition to try to get you back. And then you have your emperor, your actual person coming in. They could be going through a little bit of mess too, but that's why I feel like y'all gonna put y'all heads together. There's dysfunctional, there's dysfunction here. And you're going to be able to, pro to provide some sort of help. I'm not talking about somebody that has completely betrayed your trust. They got caught doing some sneaky shit. You can't do shit with this person. They keep time and time again. They're not, they're ghosting you. They're not saying anything to you. Yeah, the hermit with the six cups in reverse. I'm not talking about that kind of person. I'm talking about somebody that's going to actually give to you. And they're going to show you that they care about you. Even if they don't have much to bring right now. I feel like it's going to change. There's an investment. There's good news. There's an investment that's going to turn into this Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Literally. You've acquired the wisdom and the strength that you need in order to cultivate better relationships. And affiliate yourself with better people. Better friendships. Okay, the right family members. Because a lot of them are fucking crazy. Okay, so, so let's see. Let's move on. What's letting go? Mm, yeah, Four of Pentacles, Capricorn. What's letting go with the Four of Pentacles? Temperance in reverse. Yeah, somebody is refusing to let you go. It could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Capricorn, Sag, Cusp. Yeah, this Three of Swords, King of Swords. This could be another Aquarius. They were, or Libra. They could be refusing to like let you go. Like They don't want to let you go. This person is very controlling or they're trying to control you or they're very possessive. Some of you guys, there could be some uh, instability or something going on with your finances. There's a need to let go of a belief system around your finances or save your money. Could be, yeah, overindulgence. But that 10% reverse, somebody is very self-indulgent. They could be very antagonizing or um, somebody has not healed, just period. What's the 10% reverse? They're not balanced. You're letting them go though, but they're not letting you go. Yeah, the will of fortune. It's just, it's just, there's a lot of setbacks, delays. This person here could have some bad karma they have to work through. Yeah, with a third party, whoever the third party is, their pride, their ego. Okay. They could have a problem with, with communicating. Somebody is in their self, no energy. They're not, they can't do shit for you here. They can be very insecure. They're very shut off. They don't want to give you anything, but they want you to stay stuck with them. Absolutely the fuck not. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> I didn't think so. So, yeah, I just feel like you're looking at the things that are worthy of being built. Like you can actually build on the foundation because they actually bring something to the table. Not everything is about money. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here got stuck with a gold digger. I feel like this is this is the lesson that they're learning. Whoever this is, they went towards somebody that had something that looked good on paper or they had money or something like that. And I feel like you did too, but you were hidden in plain sight. You're stable. You're secure. You have the resources to help this person build whatever they need to help be helped. Whatever they need help building, you have the resources, but you maybe you didn't look like it though. And I feel like they judged you based off of what you look like and got with somebody that's a fucking gold digger and they can't help them invest into anything. <laughs> now you're moving on from that person. You're breaking up with them or moving on from them or whatever because y'all incompatible now. They can't do nothing. You can't do nothing with them because they chose their route. So now you're moving on from them and you're going to have somebody that's going to come in that's going to value y'all's relationship is going to be built on a solid foundation of trust and um generosity genuineness kindness sincerity and y'all gonna be able to put your heads together to build something right they're gonna need help just like you're gonna need help with something so yeah somebody chose something superficial they chose they decided to be superficial gold digger whatever and miss an opportunity with you. I, I know. I mean, so now you're letting go, and they want to hold on to you. No, let me release me, unhand me. <laughs> like no, let me go. The fuck? 
yeah, prosperity and gossip. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you have prosperity here. Yeah, gossip and purpose. So there's people around this person or around you gossiping about you, but you're on your purpose, though. It's like, you bitches don't have shit to bring to the table. Y'all don't have shit to offer, but a fucking... I, I don't know. Maybe not even that either. <laughs> like, what, sex and whatever else. I don't know. <laughs> what, what's going on for Aquarius? They gossip, gossiping about you, and yet they, they're not going anywhere in life. Their shit is dysfunctional. That's what's crazy to me. Let's see. Yeah, coming. Faithfulness. Yeah, that's exactly what you're going to get. Somebody is faithful to you. They might not have much right now, but when y'all put y'all heads together and build whatever this is, it's going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all are definitely going to get married. You're definitely going to have some sort of stuff. But there's going to be you and this person could be going into business. I feel like it's somebody else here. Y'all could be going into business. Or this is just you building generation. Like you've done all this shit on your own by yourself without the help or the support of whoever you thought was going to be there. That's tragic. Yeah, Book of Shadows. Who had that? Sagittarius. Definitely go watch Sagittarius. Okay, then we have, yeah, Spell, Manifestation. Pentacle, respect, period. Impassive, mandrake. Watchtower of the north, winter. So something could be happening in the winter. Watchtower of the east, spring. So between winter of this year and spring of next year, maybe something could be manifesting. Awakening, foundation. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all could be getting a new home come spring. Let's read, um, coming. I just put some coming in my food the other day. <laughs> Cumin or coming. 42, so it says loyalty is true devotion. Yes, deception births a lower emotion. Have faith, true heart, and trust my seeds. Dependable, they'll meet your needs. Right, this magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. Yeah, that's exactly what this, this seed is there. A seed of doubt has entered your mind and you've been questioning someone's loyalty. As you look for signs of unfaithfulness, you too are reminded of a pledge you've made. Promises of fidelity and secret pacts rise to the surface and your attention is drawn to a long-standing relationship. Fears of infidelity have risen and violation of a contract causes emotional upheaval. Yeah, somebody violated a contract with you. Whoever this past person is that chose a gossiping asshole or whatever this is, they violated you. They they definitely did. So you could be having some sort of like, um, you could be triggered right now. Do not despair for I am loyal. My power guards against theft of any kind, including of your heart. Sprinkle me on any dish for an earthly flavor that will keep you grounded as I protect you from deceit. Put my seeds in bread and feed me to a lover to keep love faithful and ensure that, that obligations are fulfilled. Loyalty and devotion are essential, my faithful friend, as you are reminded to, to be true to yourself and your magical beliefs. So your recommended recipe, it says healing paste for boils, psoriasis. Is it psoriasis? Is the P silent? Yeah. Grind roasted cumin seeds into a powder. Now mix one half teaspoon of cumin with one, two tablespoons of castor oil to make a paste. Apply directly onto the boil after cleaning the area with a warm compress of water and salt. Cover with a gauze bandage and replace every 12 hours until the boil is gone. Hmm. Cumin revealed. This spice has been used for thousands of years. In ancient Egypt, cumin was used as a spice and as a preservative for mummification. The ancient Greeks had cumin on the table to spice up their food. Pliny, the elder, listed cumin as the best appetizer of all condiments and wrote that it could be used as money. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's read Mandrake. Magic's wand, not impressed, works with my root if you're distressed. Extraction causes a deadly scream. Work with me to follow your dream. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. So it says, your expression says it all. Not much impresses you these days, does it? <laughs> your light has dimmed. However, all is not lost for a new magic surrounds you when I appear. No other plant has been more associated with or respected by witches through the ages as I. 
A magical alliance was made between witches and the spirit of Mand Mandragoria, Mandra Mandragoria, whatever, for my root to be used as a vessel for familiars to feed from. In return, in return, I am fed with milk or wine under a full or dark moon. Be sure not to feed on me yourself, though, for I will cause delirium or even madness if ingested, much like my poisonous cousin, Belladonna. Hmm. Instead, use me for powdered root wisely as a magical catalyst to empower amulets, spells, and fertility rituals, or to induce visions and free your spirit for a desired freedom of magical expression is waiting to be unearthed. So it says, for your recommended recipe... It says extract for protection of home, empowerment spells, rituals, cleaning of altar and ritual tools. Slice mandrake root, add to a jar and steep for three moon cycles starting on the dark of the moon. Cover with a black cloth and store in a dark place. Ensure that the jar is labeled and only used for ritual work. Set your intention and speak with the spirit of the mandrake for, before use. Mandrake revealed in Greek mythology, Sars and Aphrodite. Sarsi or whatever. I don't know how to say that. I don't like not being able to say shit. Let's see. Sars, is it? Sars. Yeah, okay, I said it right. Um, and Aphrodite used this magical root as a aphrodisiac. The Ebers, Propriet. Papyrus dating from 1550 BC speaks of the power of this sacred root. Dio, Dioscorides, a Greek physician, knew of its anesthetic anesthetic effect. Used as a personal visionary root, mandrakes are believed to carry magical powers and were featured in the Harry Potter series. Hmm. I have to watch her. I haven't seen Harry Potter in so long. Dioscrides, a Greek physician, knew of an anesthetic effect. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. Let's pull from here and then I'm gonna go. Oh fuck. Cards have fallen fallen on the floor. Uranus change. Ain't that Aquarius? Number 25. We have transits, climate. Twelfth house, introspection. Third house, communication. Let's see. So it says Uranus acts like a cosmic clutch. It takes us out of one gear and after some chaos shifts us into a new one. Uranus is the modern co-ruler of Aquarius and takes 84 years to round the zodiac. Uranus was the first planet we discovered once the, tele the telescope broke the boundary of our unknown solar system and coincided with the Industrial Revolution when many technical and cultural assumptions broke apart. It embodies different, I mean, it embodies difference and eccentricity as it rotates in the opposite direction of most other planets and at an, at an approximate right angle to them with one pole pointing towards the sun. So it says your action, surprise or be surprised, be ready to shift gears. It's time to experiment and try a fresh approach or new road entirely. If your life were a garden, now would be the time to scatter handfuls of diverse seeds, water them all, see what grows robustly and weed the rest later. Yeah, urgent anxiety can be a symptom of Uranian restlessness. So rather than just flailing about, look for the root cause and ask, why, ask what change would actually solve the problem. What looks like a disaster may bring a wild opportunity. Yeah, I feel like that's how you're feeling about something. You're letting go of someone or something and something else is coming in and it looks like a disaster or it looks like it could end up in one, but I feel like it's not. Okay, it says, if you are thrown a sudden sudden or shocking change, assume that you are being tossed out of the nest into a potentially heroic journey. Chaos can be an important catalyst and un unnerving moment caught between forms. The discomfort allows and propels you to transform. Become your most authentic, eccentric self. You are just what is needed. Uranus also encourages technical upgrades and a cutting edge approach, whether that means acquiring new equipment or new skills. Yeah, something something you have to gain new skills about. It's something over here with that page of swords in reverse and the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is like studying school, somebody that is very studious. Okay. Yeah. 
So it says, um, challenge, the challenge. Uranus electrifies. It may feel like your finger is stuck in an electrical socket. You are anxious to change, but you can spin your wheels until you shift into the new gear for your gift. It says, prepare for an evolutionary leap. Shocking circumstances can force you to engage gifts you didn't know you had and help you transform. You are not those external attributes and transformation. You will not dissolve. A caterpillar is still internally the same creature once it becomes a butterfly. Wow. So something is changing. You know, expect un expect the unexpected, Aquarius. Or a cross watcher, whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm th I feel like I'm talking to a cross watcher that got, you could either be dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Somewhere very important. Okay, check where your 11th house is, maybe. Or check where Aquarius is at in your house, what house is under or whatever. But, yeah. This pentacle right here talks about protection. You could be you could be working on spells here. Yeah, book of shadows, secret, and spells, manifestation. You could be needing to write down, like, you could be, um... I know for me, I, I already know, like, in a past life, I was a white witch, so I, I really like the fact that I, I embrace it. I know for me, I'm a, uh, I'm the kind of person that's going to incorporate my own. I don't really go by, I study and research different things to incorporate and make it into my own. I'm more so like a trendsetter. So if I do, you know what I'm saying? Do any protection rituals, manifestation rituals, spells or whatever, I have my own stuff that I do. I take little things and make it into my own, right? So that could be, um, I forgot what it's called an electric witch okay you could you could be you don't have to be like a wiccan or a pagan or whatever you can have your own like shit you take different things from different religions and make it your own or you know what i'm saying so that's something cool that you i don't know you're looking into or whatever <laughs> but i don't know this looks nice besides the bullshit so this is your reading aquarius i hope that it resonated like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.